So in this lecture, we're going to practice drawing our resonance structures for the following three molecules. So we have one, two, and three. We want to find all the different types of resonance structures that contribute to the actual structure of this molecule. So let's begin with the movement of our electrons. Remember, in a resonance structure, only electrons are allowed to move. The atoms do not actually move. So let's begin by moving this lone pair of electrons onto this atom, forming the following double bond, kicking off, displacing this double bond. So this lone pair of electron goes onto this carbon. So we form the following double bond between these two carbons. This double bond remains, and now our lone pair of electrons is found on this carbon. So we have a negative charge on this carbon here. So here we have our negative charge. So once again, we can continue the same exact process along this chain. So now this pair of electrons goes on to this carbon-carbon, uh, creating a double bond here, displacing this bond, placing the lone pair of electrons onto this carbon. Now this bond remains as it is. So now our lone pair of electrons is on this carbon. So let's draw our lone pair of electrons here. This bond remains and this bond is formed between this carbon-carbon. Finally, we can continue, so let's now move this pair of electrons onto this, uh, forming a double bond here, and displacing this lone pair of electrons, placing onto this carbon here. This bottom carbon bond, the carbon double bond, remains intact. So here's our double bond, our U double bond, and lone pair of electrons is now here, forming a negative charge on this carbon. And finally, the last structure, once again, we continue moving our pair of electrons, delocalizing our negative charge. So now, this pair of electrons can uh, create a double bond on this bond, displacing this pair of electrons. So now we finally have the final structure, which looks like this. So this double bond remains. This pair of electrons moves on to here, and our negative charge is now on the final carbon. So notice what we did. The entire point of this resonance stabilization is to delocalize our charge, to move our charge from this carbon onto all the different types of carbons, all the five carbons on our uh, structure. So because we have five carbons, we have five different ways to delocalize our charge, placing the charge onto this onto the five different types of carbons. So these are the five resonance structures that uh, represent our actual molecule. So the actual molecule is not any of these single molecules. The actual molecule is a hybrid of these five molecules. So let's go on to example two. Once again, we're not moving atoms. What we're moving are electrons. We're creating different... <coughs> excuse me, we're creating different types of Lewis dot structures. So, let's begin by drawing our, uh, or actually, so what can happen here? Well, in this molecule, we can move electrons onto this oxygen. If we move electrons onto this oxygen, uh, we can then move this pair of electrons onto this uh, bond, creating a double bond. So, let's see what happens. So we have our single bond between our oxygen now, forming a negative charge here. So we have a negative charge on this oxygen. And now our chlorine has a double bond between the carbon and chlorine. So it has two electrons, so that means we'll have a positive charge on the chlorine like so, and we will continue having a negative charge on the oxygen. Now notice almost every single molecule, or almost every single atom has a charge except the middle carbon. So we go from one charge to three different charges. So that means this will not be a very good, a very stable resonant forms. And that means although this will exist, this will contribute very little to the actual structure of our molecule. So what's the next possible resonant form? Well now, we can move this pair of electrons onto this, creating a carbon-oxygen double bond, displacing this pair of electrons. So, the following can happen. This 
can create a double bond displacing this uh, double bond forming the following molecule. So we still, have, we still have our negative charge on that oxygen. We have a double bond between this oxygen carbon and we have a single bond between this uh, chlorine and carbon. So we have a negative charge here and no more charge anywhere else. And that means this will be a very stable resonant form. So, and this probably concludes all the different types of structures. Now, more Lewis dot structures exist but these two are the most uh, are the most stable and that means they will donate the structure the most compared to all others now for example I'll draw one more resonant form but this resonant form will not be very stabilizing because it will have charge on every single atom so if we draw the following molecule notice that now we have a charge on three of these molecules we have a negative charge here, a negative charge here, and a positive charge on our carbon. So this, this structure, this Lewis st uh, structure like this one, will not be very good because it has lots of different charge. While these two structures are very good because they only have uh, the charge on the oxygen. So let's look at the final molecule. Let's draw our resonant forms for this molecule 3. So once again, we draw our double-handed arrow to represent our resin form. And now, this pair of electron can go onto this carbon forming a double bond, displacing this lone pair of electrons, this double bond, forming the following molecule. So we have a single bond between the oxygen, forming a negative charge on the oxygen, and we remove that positive charge, uh, that negative charge from our carbon forming a double bond between this uh, carbon. So a negative um, form here. So notice that we take this negative and move it onto this relatively electronegative oxygen. So this will be a very stabilizing resonant form and the actual structure will be, will be midway between these two structures. It's going to be a hybrid of these two structures. So let's finish off by drawing our brackets for this structure and for these two structures. And this concludes our drawings for the resonant forms for these three molecules.